Hey guys, Russ here from Paddle and Hook. Happy New Year to you. Um, I want to talk to you today about some rigging tips for catching wintertime fish such as tall tog, which around here, we're in Ocean City, Maryland, if you can't tell from the surroundings here. Um, they live down in the rocks. They like to eat crustaceans, you know, sand fleas, crab, thing of that, things of that nature. Um, so let's talk about the rigs we use to catch them. I have a medium action spinning set up here. You want a fast action tip so that when you go to set a hook, you can pull them out. You can get a lot of leverage on them quickly or Tog will take you in the rocks. I have 25 pound braid attached to a snap swivel with 50 pound mono. I simply tied a dropper loop, a two alt hook to a three ounce sinker. I put three ounces because, you know, sometimes the tide is ripping through here and you need three ounces to really hold the bottom. Um, you can get away with a two ounce a lot of times. Uh, if the current is ripping heavily, you may want to go with a four or five ounce. It's up to you. Use your judgment. So, when you're going to prepare um, a bait to go on the hooks, say you're using green crab. Green crab are super popular. So I'm going to go ahead and break these claws off. This guy's frozen. He's dead. He's one uh, we had live crabs a couple of weeks ago for bait. So I'm just going to go ahead and take his legs off, exposing these little joints right here. If you can see, those joints are just big enough to pass a hook point through, and you'll see why that's handy in a minute. So here's how I rig one. Basically cut them in half. You want to remove the back. It comes off quite easily. You'll discard that. And then for me, I like to find one little leg joint right there. Kind of just go in through one, go up into the body of the crab. And if you're lucky, it'll come up right out the, the backside, sometimes even through another leg joint. But that's, that gives it something to hold on to right there. That's what you're looking for. Tog are really good at stealing bait and pulling it off your hook. Um, so if you, you give it a little something to hang on to, your bite and hookup ratio are gonna be a lot better. All right. One of the really common baits we use, super effective, are sand fleas. You basically wanna hook this through the shell. There's a couple of ways you can do this. I like to go in through the shell, spin it around, and then come back through on the other side leaving just, you know, the insides ready for the tog to nip at with the point right there. So when you feel it, you can set the hook. Here is a clip of my son Jackson and his very first tall tog. Dude, Jackson, you're a beast. Oh my God, your first tog. 